Accra, Ghana, a bustling, vibrant hub of commerce and culture, much like any other modern city. But like other West African neighbors, Ghana lags behind the developed world in terms of communication infrastructure. There's a company called Main One that aims to change all of that for Ghana and indeed all of West Africa. Main One is in the communication services business. We have built a submarine cable to interconnect West Africa with the rest of the world and provide broadband communication services. Obviously, there are other companies providing international bandwidth services. Uh, Main One, however, is an open access system. We offer bandwidth, wholesale bandwidth, on a non-discriminatory basis um, to all operators and service providers, and we are not in the retail business. Main One is going to uh, change things as we know it down the west coast of Africa. Um, clearly, up until now, you've only had one other cable called SAT3, but uh, it's a very low bandwidth system. Um, it's at its maximum uh, capacity. As you know, in Nigeria, there has been a, a shortage of international capacity. Uh, you know, the growth uh, in demand for internet um, uh, services is mushrooming, quite honestly. We are also providing a dramatic increase in the amounts of bandwidth available in the region, more than a thousand percent increase. Uh, over and above what is currently available. Bandwidth is important because in this age of new technology, information is key. Access to information in a timely matter, a manner um, is extremely critical. At the final splice event to celebrate the completion of the Main One cable installation in Accra, Ghana, officials described Main One as a monumental addition to Ghana's ICT infrastructure and expressed the hope that the cable will bring real improvement to the telecommunications in Ghana. This is the first private uh, cable system that's being installed. Uh, it's 7,000 kilometers in length. Uh, the actual fiber that we've used, it's called dispersion flat fiber. It's the best fiber that you can get anywhere in the world. Uh, that provides you with the best means of upgrading it to future capacities as well. We needed to have a backbone. The one we had was a back, but it was not that bony. Uh, maybe a back flesh, so three. We need to have a strong backbone to fully support the entire communication infrastructure. The fact that there is a, an additional provider of um, international sort of bandwidth is going to make a big difference to the reliability factor because sometimes with current providers you can actually lose connectivity um, and that is, you know, catastrophic for your services. Our system is able to take 40 gigs capacity base, uh, so we will be able to multiply our two terabits by a number of times. So we've kind of future-proofed uh, the west coast of Africa for many years to come. And everywhere we're connected, there should be a drop in the cost. So the vision at the end of the day can be summarized to be um, easing communication facilitating communication and wherever that has been done successfully it has um, had huge ramification on education, on health, on the economy, on everything. The cable's arrival in West Africa marks the completion of the first phase of the project but Main One has big plans. Phase One is effectively taking the cable from Europe along the west coast of Africa landing in Ghana and Nigeria. From London down to Nigeria uh, picking up uh, Morocco, Senegal, the Ivory Coast, Tenerife, uh, Ghana. Uh, we're bringing two terabits uh, to the nations uh, down the west coast of Africa. Um, so it's really going to change things dramatically uh, when you have a thousand times more capacity available. Phase two will go from Nigeria down to South Africa. Picking up most of the nations en route, uh, DRC, Guinea, uh, Angola, uh, Namibia. Um, so. All in all, we'll have uh, more than 14,000 kilometers of cable down the west coast of Africa. And the implementation of phase two means that the whole of the west coast of Africa has now got an additional submarine cable, and they will be able to join in with a cable that's coming from the east coast, which means for the first time, Africa will be really looped all the way around. Main One is not the first company with an ambition to improve communication in Africa. Of the technology they're using, could be the one that actually makes a definitive difference. 
a lot of the communications currently provided in the region is also based on satellite communications. Um, we are providing broadband communications um, via a submarine cable system and that definitely has its advantages. If you're sending data, uh, you have to do it over cable. Uh, anywhere around the world, even though there's satellite coverage everywhere around the world, all data is sent by cables. The speed, it's uh, the speed of light. It travels at the speed of light, uh, 1,866 kilometers. <laughs> so yeah, this is instantaneous communication from point A to point B. I think it's going to uh, allow us to uh, offer um, high-speed uh, data uh, services with a, a greatly enhanced reliability going forward. Uh, if you look at Nigeria, we have 160 million people. We have about 5% of uh, the population is able to get onto the internet right now. Uh, that's because they only have 10 gigabits of information. Uh, we're bringing two terabits of bandwidth to the nation. When people from the 1st of July uh, with the right ISP uh, go on to their internet, they are going to ask themselves whether they're in New York or, 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 or they're in Singapore. That, that is the quality. Two terabits of capacity is awesome. Awesome. We talked about information being very, very important, um, but also the ability to to learn and to share experiences and the best practices from around the world. Main One hopes not just to improve the quality of communication in West Africa, but to widen access, bringing a whole new group of people into the information age. The key issue is cost. Um, I mean, Africa does have access, but it's very expensive, especially to the, to, the, to the masses. The most important thing is that it's the customer that benefits. So first and foremost, what we see here is the availability um, of data services and data capacity and internet at a much more reasonable uh, price. Um, the numbers are very good in terms of if it works, <laughs> what we stand to gain as men of commerce, as people of commerce, is awesome, but more important than that, there's a second bottom line. What happens to mankind? What happens to that young guy who is so disadvantaged and is now exposed to what happens uh, 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 in the world, you know? So there's a second bottom line, which for me personally is even more fascinating than the first bottom line. I think well, what it's going to do, it's going to broaden the, the base of customers substantially. I think you're going to find that a lot more people will start to connect to the internet. The major advantage here is that if wider people have access, then the development of local content becomes uh, more affordable and becomes more profitable for people providing it, which means that we'll be disseminating information amongst ourselves, sharing information, sharing lessons, teaching and educating, and there'll be a wider uh, rising of knowledge uh, amongst Africans. An endeavor like this takes time, planning, resources and commitment, something that the people at Main One know a lot about. The caliber of people attracted to the project uh, allowed us to put in place uh, a governance structure early on that has um, focused on achieving excellence in everything we do as a company and that has really served us well. Raising $240 million as a greenfield company, putting the team together that we have um, to run this network out of Lagos, Sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, indeed, we believe that is a first. We're wholly African-owned. Um, company. 50% of the funding is in equity from African investors, so we're particularly proud of that. It's not buying and selling. Um, it's not buying stocks on the stock exchange. It's actually making something happen. It's very intricate. You know, raising money is the tiniest part of it. What we have done in Nigeria and Ghana is to build our own cable stations because they don't have the suitable buildings that we were looking for to land our cable in. It required an in, incredible level of project management. Um, and it could just go wrong at any point. Multi-jurisdictional, uh, you leave Nigeria, you go to Ghana, you leave Ghana, you go to Dakar, you leave Dakar, you go to Tenerife, Tenerife, you go to um, Portugal. All different legislations. The founding shareholders who provided the initial seed capital 
that enabled us to enter into a turnkey supply agreement with um, Tyco Electronics um, Subcom, Subsea Communications, who are the supplier of the cable system. That was the most significant um, early defining milestone. Um, securing the first private submarine landing licenses um, in both Nigeria and Ghana. Actually getting the cable built, um, the manufacturing process, um, getting the cable laid, the equipment installed. The private sector people um, using smart money, using their skills, uh, uh, what they've learned and their God-given talent have been able to bring this uh, 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 to, to, to this part of the world. I just can't wait to see um, the impact that it's going to have on, on, on this society. The people at Main One see huge opportunities for growth ahead, both for themselves and for the people of West Africa. We look forward to expanding our footprint um, to more parts of the continent, um, broadening the reach uh, that we have um, to the population across Africa. We are working with uh, partners to try to get further and further inland to reach those landlocked countries as well. Um, so, you know, we've made a good headway into that. Uh, we're, we're starting to move across the land as well as the sea. We look forward to increasing the menu of services we have to offer more value to our customer and thereby delivering more value um, to the population at large. Both in terms of entertainment, access to information, both in terms of education, uh, health services, all around society who will benefit from cheaper access to connectivity and information. The benefit is clearly going to be for the customer, but it's a win-win situation and I'm sure that Etisalat is going to benefit from this new uh, undersea cable that Main One are bringing in. With the technological advances, Africa has the opportunity to leapfrog and maybe not go through all of the stages that other parts of the, the world had to go through. Main One, um, yes, is money. But main one is, um, is development. It's development in the true sense of it. Uh, it's an enabler, you know. Um, it's up to us what we do with it. We are lucky, we are privileged to have provided you with it. Use it. That's main one.